I want to uh, state that uh, there is a scheme that is very unfortunate. Uh, we are aware that uh, the UPND in opposition then made a lot of commitments, particularly to Ribro, the Ribro network um, uh, organizations uh, that support uh, gays and lesbian values. Um, and to that effect, they undertook that when, if they formed government, they would be able to uh, have that implemented by enacting laws that would introduce such practices in this country. Apparently, um, the president is under pressure from such organizations, some of whom were pressurizing just a few days ago, um, in that regard arising from a comment he made when he was going to Monze, to Samuel Momba, uh, where he was going to, um, you know, uh, as guest of honor at some function there. Apparently, this time around, they have resorted because of the fact that uh, it is proving very difficult to have the seats won by Patriotic Front to be nullified because, as it were, all those concocted, trumped up um, uh, allegations against our MPs have not been able to be sustained in the courts of law. Now they have resorted to go to a constitutional court through a member of UPND to try and register or change the law from the bench. The only arm of government that is responsible for enacting laws is the National Assembly. But they want to use the back door by inviting the court to register from the bench, which the court has frowned, up, frowned upon for many years in time past. So there is a matter which unfortunately the scheme was to have a UPND member petition the, 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 the court to look at the, you know, the electoral um, uh, process, I mean the electoral system act and the electoral process act and try and amend it so that they can then have petitions, I mean have seats nullified at will even just by a small incidence that may have happened during the campaigns. This scheme is meant to try and build numbers so that those issues of gays and lesbianism could find their way on the floor of the House with numbers that have been built on the side of UPND. So we want to call upon the court, to call upon the sacred institutions like the court to continue to protect the values and the rule of law, the values of, that Zambia ascribes to, and also the rule of law in this country. There has been schemes just now of some surrogate paid up UPND youths that Ms. Akainde is parading around with postures, posters trying to say that there is a call for the removal of immunity. That is only to feed into a narrative suggesting that there must have been a lot of things that went wrong in terms of corruption, fraud, and theft when President Edgar Chagalungu was in office. They have been on a fishing expedition. They have gone out of the country. They have gone everywhere searching for things that Ms. Akainde just imagines in his head. He has this you know, imaginary notion that President Lungu has properties all over the world and PF ministers have properties all over the world. They have been in Belgium, they have been in Turkey, they have been in Dubai, they have been in South Africa, they have been to Swaziland, they have been everywhere attempting to find something that they can use to try and feed into the narrative that is in the head of Misaka and Islam. And we say, the Zambian people, watch out for this scheme that will only take this country into a destructive mode. Thank you very much. Okay, so what, what do you make of statements that President Akainde Chilem has made repeatedly that he will stand by the constitution that Zambia shall be a Christian nation? On, it, on the gay aspect? 
uh, unfortunately Mr. Aga in Dechirema has the capacity to say one thing in the morning and come and reject that very thing he said at 10 o'clock and come and change and some sort at 12 o'clock and come and change when he's going to bed and we don't even know what he dreams about in the night and wake up in the morning and say something else. So he's not a leader that you can rely on in terms of what he says uh, because he has changed and backtracked on his promises. He has even begun to ridicule the Zambian people when they try to hold him accountable to his own promises. So this is not a man of his word and a man that is consistent in what he pronounces. As head of state, he has said certain things which his members of parliament and ministers have objected on the floor of the house. He was saying on the day of national prayer, commending President Chiruwa for declaring Zambia as a Christian nation and commending President Rungu for declaring the 18th of October as a day of national prayer and reconciliation. But his minister, Gary Nkombo, went on the floor of the house to say this day is rubbish and as government we don't recognize and appreciate it. So what kind of government is this? Where the head says one thing, the, the hand says a different thing, the waist is singing or dancing to another song, the legs are jumping in another direction. It is a government that has no direction. Everyone is ahead in this government. Gary Nkombo is, is a small president, Jack Mwimbu is a small president, and all these ministers in the own Kakun Mwetu is also a small president. So when Yakainde says something as president, a small president in Gary Nkombo says something different. Another small president in, in uh, Jack Mwimbu says another thing. Another small president in Southern Province speaks something else in Tonga and confusing the Zambian people. Thank you very much.